Welcome to Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. I'm your host, Carol Clark, and today I wanted to talk about the three top reasons why you are not receiving referrals or potentially new patients. And the good news is these are pretty easy to fix uh, situations, but there are three common reasons why you're not getting the referrals that you have. The first reason, which is the easiest to fix, is that you're not asking for them. So whether it's from your current patients, your existing patients, those in your database, or referring uh, practices, physicians, uh, the practitioners, or local businesses, it's just because you're not asking for them. And in today's world, people are busy, and you don't not only have to ask once, but you sometimes have to ask more than once. And as a clinician, you might feel very uncomfortable with that, but this is where you're team comes into play. So when you have a patient who's really happy, that's a great time to almost get like two things at once, perhaps a testimonial, and then also let them know about if you have a referral program, meaning that if they do refer someone, a lot of times you can do something. It doesn't have to be monetarily based, but it's just something nice for both uh, the person who referred them and also the one who's being referred. If you have a referral program, it's easy enough to put into place, but asking for referrals is the first thing. And it's just a matter of saying, you know, Know, I'm so excited about the success that you're experiencing and we would really like to help other people just like you. Do you know of anyone who might benefit from our services or our products? It's just as easy as that. When they're really happy about it, they'll usually uh, have somebody in mind or they'll say, oh, I was just talking about you or, and before you know it, you have a lot of referrals coming through now. Maybe it's from the same person over and over, but what's wrong with that? Those are our favorite types of new patients to receive because they already know about you they kind of trust you. They've seen the awesome transformation you've helped their friend or their family member or their colleague have. And so they're excited to come learn more about what it is that you have to offer. And the same goes for physicians. Once you have people referring to you or other practitioners and they see their patients having success, they're more likely to then refer additional patients to you. So it's just a matter of making sure that you're top of mind, that you're showing up there, that you are uh, letting them know what it is that you have to offer. And when they do send you patients, making sure that you're communicating back the outstanding results that they're getting, that really can make all the difference in the world. So the first issue is that perhaps you're not asking for referrals, or maybe you're just making it a little bit too difficult, which leads into the second reason why people oftentimes don't get referrals. And it's because you can make the process too hard. And anything, anytime something's too hard, it's going to be one of those things where people aren't going to do it. So whether it's a patient making a referral, if you have an easy link they can give to their friend or uh, something like that, or just a quick text number they can text or uh, the card of your office manager or a little referral card saying, uh, if you've uh, enjoyed your experience with us, share this with others. And it gives them a, an immediate way to get into your practice to somebody directly to help answer their questions, make them feel warm and welcome. But making that process very streamlined is really important. For referring practice practices, you can have, depending on the software that you're all using, you can have a fax referral, you can have a drop-down box in their EMR that automatically generates a referral to your practice. The easier you can make it, so if you don't require them to gather all the patient's insurance information, all the patient's demographic, just say, hand them over to us and we will take it from there. They are so excited about that. The easier you can make that, uh, the more likely that you're gonna receive uh, additional referrals. So that's another thing you can do is just make sure you take a look at your referral process and see if it's a little bit too difficult. Or maybe you had something really simply simple set up and you've modified the URL uh, for that page on your website or something, there's just something broken in there and it's not going through smoothly. And that is something that can happen uh, that we want to make sure that you take care of. So test those from time to time. Make sure that number one, you're asking referrals. Number two, you're not making it too difficult for them. Another way that you can make it too difficult for them is if whoever's answering the phone is not really as inviting as they should or could be. So maybe they're actually putting a big barrier in front of the referral source and your practice. They are your reputation. They are the first uh, for 
other than online. They're oftentimes the first interaction that they have. So we want to make sure that that your team knows that if a referral comes through, that is top of mind for you. And that's something that needs to be addressed right away. So if you have to do a little training on that, that's something that you can do. Uh, but any anyhow, the front desk is really another thing that can help simplify that process and give them that warm, fuzzy experience as they make their first call or first interaction with your practice, whether it's a text from your website, whether it's a contact us form, whether it is just uh, you know a link to their personal email, however it's structured in your practice, just make sure it's simple. Make sure that your team isn't sort of turning people off before they ever even get to meet you as the practitioner or some of the practitioners and learn about all the wonderful things that you do. And the third biggest problem that people uh, may have in, in terms of not getting referrals or new patients is that people are having a hard time finding you. It is busy out there online. And I know a lot of times when I work with a practice, the first thing I'll do is go, I scout out their whole website. I scout out their whole process for getting uh, new referrals. I scout out if I'm a potential patient, how do I get there? I had one the other day. It was a surgical practice uh, that's in a larger health system. And honestly, I had to go through four links to get to the um, information that I needed. And that's even after doing a Google search, going to their site directly, uh, clicking all the drop down boxes for weight loss surge. I did a, a huge search and it was really hard to find them. So if people are have, they don't wanna work too hard for finding their referrals. They want it to be very streamlined. They want it to be simple. They wanna get um, a, a quick response. And so we wanna make sure that we're, we're getting that um, going and that they can easily reach out to you and get their question, questions answered. And as a bonus, sometimes what initial, another problem is you may get a lead or a new potential um, prospect and nobody contacts them for over a week. By then, they look somewhere else. You may have lost your whole opportunity to have that new patient and you could have been a wonderful fit for them, even better than what they ended up with. So we wanna make sure that you have a way to track all your patient leads and that you are following up with them on a regular basis, not annoying them, but really just making sure that you have a streamlined way for follow-up to occur uh, from your practice. So those are some of the top reasons why you might not be getting new patients or uh, new referrals specifically. Uh, there's lots of other things that go into marketing in terms of just getting uh, new leads, but we do love to get referrals. It's our favorite type of patient to get for the most part uh, because they know about you. They know about the success that someone that they know has had, and um, they're almost readily uh, willing and able and um, and want to get started right away. So that takes uh, uh, makes that a little bit more streamlined too. So those are some of the top three reasons off the top of my mind. I have lots of free resources for you at weightlosspracticebuilder.com forward slash free. Reach out to me if you want to just do a quick little audit of your website or just have a conversation. It's Carol, K-A-R-O-L at weightlosspracticebuilder.com and I look forward to it. In the meantime, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the podcast and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.